Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging nested radical equation problem. Equation is cube root of 18 plus x times cube root of 18 plus x times cube root of 18 plus up to infinity equal to x. We have to find out real x. So let's get it started. If you will observe then this term is again we can write x. So this equation will become x is equal to cube root of 18 plus x times x. We can write. Now x times x is x square. So equation will become x is equal to cube root of 18 plus x square. Take cube both sides. So I will write x cube is equal to cube and cube root will be over. 18 plus x square. Take all the term to one side. So x cube minus x square minus 18 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will demonstrate two methods from here how to solve this equation. One method, the method number one will consider synthetic division, rational root theorem. And second method we will consider algebraic manipulation and identities. So let me write here method number one, which will be the conventional traditional one. x cube minus x square minus 18 equal to 0. Now rational root theorem. Let us find out the eligible factors of constant coefficient 18. So we can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 6, plus minus 9 and plus minus 18. If you will check the leading coefficient then it is plus minus 1. Now we have to consider the ratio with constant coefficient and leading coefficient. So I will put x is equal to 2 suppose. Then it will become 8 minus 2 square is 4 minus 18. Is this equal to 0? No it is not. Let us put one more positive value x is equal to 3. Then you will write 3 cube minus 3 square minus 18. Is this 0? Yes, 27 minus 9 minus 18. Yes, it is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 3 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method to find out the remaining two roots also. So let me write all the coefficients of this cubic equation. So the coefficient of x cube 1, coefficient of x square minus 1, coefficient of x it is not there so 0, constant coefficient minus 18. Now I will put one line over there. Our base solution is x is equal to 3. I will write leading coefficient as it is 1. Now 3 times 1, 3, 2. 3 times 2, 6, 6. 6 times 3, 18. Now 1, 2 and 6 basically are the coefficients for quadratic equation. x square plus 2x plus 6. Now we will solve this equation to get the remaining two solution. One solution is clear. It is x is equal to 3 which is our first base solution. Let me solve this equation x square plus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. x square plus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. Let us apply Sridharachar formula or quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b so minus 2 plus minus under the root b square so 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 6 divided by 2a a is 1 so 2 minus 2 plus minus under the root 2 square is 4 minus 24 divided by 2. Now you will write minus 2 plus minus square root of negative 20 divided by 2. Here we can consider minus 2 plus minus 20 is 4 root 4 times 5 so 2 root 5 we will write and the square root minus 1 is i. So we can write it as i times 2 square root 5 divided by 2. 
divide with 2 minus 1 plus minus i root 5 complex solution so we will reject it rejected now let us consider method number 2 method number 2 is using algebraic manipulation and using algebraic identities method so let me write our equation once x cube minus x square equal to 18 now i will split 18 as x cube minus x square as it is 18 we can write 27 minus 9 now i will consider 27 to the left and 9 to the left see how it would be let me write once x cube minus x square is equal to 27 minus 9. So I will write x cube minus 27. Then I will consider minus x square plus 9 equal to 0. Now you can see it is x cube minus 3 cube and minus sign. Let us consider minus common. So x square minus 9 or 3 square let me write now i will use two identities one is a cube minus b cube formula and second is difference of two squares a square minus b square let us apply a minus b a square plus b square plus a b so 3x plus 9 now come to the difference of two squares a square minus b square it is a plus b times a minus b. So I will write here x plus 3 times x minus 3 equal to 0. Now you can see x minus 3 is common. I will write here x minus 3 common. What would be left inside the bracket? x square plus 3x plus 9 then minus of x plus 3 that means minus x minus 3 equal to 0 x minus 3 here we will write x square 3x minus x so 2x 9 minus 3 6 so we are having again the same bracket x minus 3 and second bracket is x square plus 2x plus 6 both equations are identical as method number 1 we have already solved. So I can conclude here only x minus 3 equal to 0. So x is equal to 3 the only real solution. And see from here we calculated last time also in method number 1 that is minus 1 plus minus i root 5. And this solution we will reject as it is complex value rejected. So which solution we will accept that is x is equal to 3. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care friends.